fiber optic um, implementation, I think, is a fantastic tool the city can use to help draw more people into this area. Um, the also some uh, rezoning uh, small things that I'm talking about, I mean, like the example on uh, Nestle Street, where we uh, can provide now for some professional services in an area that we could not as a city before. Um, and extend that through some of the other areas of the community that currently prohibit having uh, non-family members work inside a residence. Um, these, these small steps, I think, are, are what we can take care of uh, in the short term and, and that, that can lay some groundwork for, uh, for, for um, greater efforts uh, down the road. Lexington has a particularly severe jobs problem now. Uh, we can't create jobs without expanding our businesses. I'm intrigued by the possibilities in the Small Business Credit Act, Business Jobs Credit Act, which was passed into law just uh, two weeks ago by President Obama. It makes a billion and a half dollars available in federal funds to help local banks leverage up to $30 billion in loans to small businesses. Now, if Lexington were to get just its fair share of these loans, based on our size, we could get close to a million dollars in new loans from our local banks. Now, that's not enough to solve all our business problems, but it could make a big boost. I don't believe Lexington to be necessarily unfriendly to existing or potential new businesses, although I think the county has a much bigger problem in that regard. I think at best the city is business ambivalent. When my wife and I made the decision to come to Lexington, there was little or no information made available to explain the various codes, ordinances, and regulations we'd be expected to comply with. We found it difficult to get anyone, other than the Chamber of Commerce, to even return phone calls or emails. I'll stipulate that the distri distribution of this information is perhaps a function of the cha Chamber, that these rules and regulations come from City Hall, so it's from there that this information flow has to start. I believe the city can best be viewed as being business friendly by working with the landowners, the ARB, the Planning Commission, and business owners to have attractive, up-to-date facilities. I believe that if we have good facilities, it will need more business opportunities, and more business opportunities will need more jobs. We need to use the opportunity that broadband will give us to attract young professionals in virtual businesses, in web design, in graphic design. These young professionals bring their children. They want to come to a place. They don't want to be in Brooklyn, New York like my son is. They don't want to be in downtown DC. They don't want to be in downtown Savannah. They want to be in a small town that has good schools, that has beauty, that has nature. So we need to attract them. And we need to use this opportunity with broadband. We need to be smart. 